Hi, how's it going? Uh, my name is Dr. Patrick Cooper, um, and I am one of the faculty here at Duquesne University. Um, I am from Pittsburgh, PA, so I'm from the region originally. Uh, I studied mathematics and physics here at the University of Pittsburgh and did a brief stint in the UK at Oxford. Then I went on and studied string theory and uh, quantum chromodynamics, the theory of nuclear interactions at New York University. And now I'm here as a lecturer and a mentor to students at Duquesne University. Um, there's a variety of things that I do sort of outside of the classroom here at Duquesne, might be of interest to new incoming students. One of them is I run independent studies, both formal and informal with students. I'm currently working on teaching special relativity to one of our upperclassmen uh, who wants a more dedicated, uh, personalized experience with it. We meet, you know, once every two weeks and we're going through a relativity textbook, hopefully graduating on to general relativity by the end of the semester. Um, me and a fellow faculty member, uh, Dr. Ted Corcovilos, ran a study group on quantum computing um, where we spent two semesters going through quantum computing notes and uh, taught a variety of students from lower classmen to upperclassmen the principles of quantum computation. Um, and even outside of physics, when I find students in my physics classes uh, who have interests that are, you know, science related, science adjacent, even if they're not physics, uh, then I try and find ways to, you know, enrich their experiences here at Duquesne as well. So one of my students was interested in neural networks and algorithm used for pattern recognition, uh, among other things. Um, and so that was something I wanted to learn too. And so we decided to learn it together. We met once a week uh, doing all sorts of fun programming activities. Um, on top of just teaching and mentoring, I also do a lot of outreach uh, in the Duquesne community and in the broader community. Um, so one of the things I do is every year I do at least one class or experience at a local high school, a democratic high school called the City of Bridges. Um, I also like to do stuff kind of out in the community for fun too. So through the Carnegie Science Center, which is here in Pittsburgh, they do lots of different outreach events and I've been um, at the scientists in residence multiple times at the two scientists walk into a bar program and also did a little bit of outreach uh, at the Carnegie Science Center itself as well. That's me demonstrating angular momentum uh, with a bicycle wheel uh, in front of some high school students. And within the Duquesne community, um, I help run a number of clubs. Um, one of the more popular ones is the Start Play Hack Club, uh, where we um, get together with bioengineers and physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, uh, and we hack on toys, uh, taking them apart and trying to make them more accessible to kids with motor disabilities. Uh, the idea of the club is that oftentimes by not being able to play with your environment, motor disabilities can lead to cognitive disabilities. And so we're trying to help those uh, kids with motor disabilities um, learn how to play uh, essentially to help their cognitive development. So it's one of the things I work on here at Duquesne. Um, in the broader community, just outside of Duquesne, uh, I'm very active in the community near where I live. Um, so some friends of mine uh, and I, a couple of years ago, we um, took out a loan and purchased an elementary school in Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, and we renovated it and converted it into a multi-use community center, entrepreneurial hub, learning space, safe space for kids generally. Um, and so I'm a co-founder and board member of Community Forge, which is the name of the entity that owns the building. And within Community Forge, there is a uh, education nonprofit that I am also the co-founder and board member of, uh, Pittsburgh Learning Commons. Um, at Community Forge, we do all sorts of things, all sorts of summer camps and after school programming and other sort of enriching events. Um, and through Pittsburgh Learning Commons, we mainly focus on the youth. So here's a photograph of me uh, teaching some soldering with some youth. Uh, so even out in the community trying to get that science vibe going. And of course, this isn't just about me. I also bring the students out there too to help out. So, you know, this is a 40,000 square foot place, uh, requires a lot of TLC in order to get up and running. So this is uh, me with two of our fellow physics students, um, just teaching them some construction skills and renovation skills and giving them a chance to help out in their community as well. Uh, here's a couple other images um, with, uh, with the students. We got some rewiring going on and some light fixtures and even some just grunt work, uh, shovel and dirt, you know, build some character. Uh, so lots of opportunities. If you come to Duquesne to do stuff in the community um, at Duquesne as well as further abroad. So anyways, those are just a few tidbits from me. Uh, can't wait to meet you and hope to see you at Duquesne University.